Now, before everyone gets all excited here and goes, oh my goodness, NVIDIA is releasing new 6000 series gaming GPUs. No, not really, even though it's based on the Blackwell architecture. This is, may I introduce to you, the RTX Pro 6000 graphics card, but this is their workstation professional visualization series. This one here is the flagship model. There is the RTX 6000, I believe, and the RTX Pro 6000. You can kind of see the list down here. You have the you know, the RTX Pro 6000 Workstation Edition, the RTX Pro Server Edition, <laughs> you have the RTX Pro 6000 Max Q Edition, and, well, a few others. I will link you, by the way, to this article if you want to go over here and check it out. This will actually fit in a regular PC case from what I can gather. This also has 96 gigabytes of eCCC memory, and, of course, that is a lot more than even a 5090. But a reminder again, this is not a gaming video card, and the power requirements for this will be 3 100 watts TDP total board power. Now let's get back to that 96 gigabytes of memory that is on the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell GPU. How did they achieve that? Well, simply by having 24 16 gigabyte memory chips on the printed circuit board. And interestingly enough, the printed circuit board design is very similar in size to the previous generation RTX A. 6000 and by the way that one had 48 gigabytes of memory and over here they also list a few other cards the rtx pro 5000 the 4500 the 4000 the 2000 and a bunch of others plus you've got the gpu listed for each the cuda cores the memory and the tdp as well so it's cool but it's not meant for gamers boo -hoo. the 60 series will be coming out shortly i imagine not to worry before you know it time flies 2026 the nvidia will have rtx 60 series gaming video cards released and hopefully that launch will go a heck of a lot better than the rtx 50 has gone so far less quality control issues better drivers, better cables, and a brand new connector.